Hey guys and welcome to my channel. If you want to see how I go from this to this, then just keep watching. Alright, so right now my hair is just terrible. So it's been through a lot of bleach, a lot of fluorine from the pool uh, all over summer and my ends are looking just really really bad so I definitely need a haircut so I want to change this color I want to make it a little more blended I definitely want to go a little darker as you can see my roots are super dark uh, so my hair is very dark uh, naturally but uh, it's it's not blending as nicely as I would like so I'm gonna blend it a little more and I'm gonna just tone it down overall so first I'm going to just do a rough cut just to cut some of the length and I saw this video of um, this youtuber uh, hairstylist that used this method so I'm gonna give it a try and by the way I've been experiencing a lot of hair fallout within like the last month I would say more around the last two months but the last month has been the worst and i'm not sure why i think maybe i'm a little bit stressed um since we just bought a house and we're renovating it maybe that could be the reason so um i think a good haircut is also going to help me with my hair fallout and thinning so um looking forward to that for sure okay so the method is basically you take these little rubber bands and you put them where you want to get the haircut and i am well i think i'm gonna go three three little ties two and three I, mean, I did four ties just to make it a little bit tighter i'm not sure that was a good idea but Okay, so I think that a good length for me is going to be like right around here. So I think that's how short I'm going to go. So all of this is going bye-bye. And to be honest, I'm not really sad about it because this hair is so like fragile and brittle that I don't even think this is like nice looking anymore. So I'm going to take that and do it in the back as well. And then he just recommended that the hair be super straight. Okay, so we'll do that. The back, you kind of see it a little bit more because the back of my hair is like longer. So that's gonna be a dramatic difference for sure. So I want the back of my hair to be kind of um, just straight. Um, I have a little bit of a U-shape, a V-shape right now, so I'm going to take a, some of that shape off and just make it a little bit straighter, so I just think it's a really good look for me, so I, that's why I'm going to place it in the back like this, so that's, this method is for that, it helps you get like the straighter cut, so I said why not, right? Okay, so... We are matching up these little, oh, we're not matching up these rubber bands. This one is falling off. Okay, so make sure that the rubber bands are tighter because mine just slid down and that's the recipe for a really bad haircut uh, and an even haircut. Right. Not too tight, Jen. Okay. See? Perfect. All right. So, let's see it. Let's see that it is the same. So these are right about the same length. And yeah, I think it's a little bit shorter in the front, but that's that's cool. That's still okay if it's a little bit shorter in the front. This is it, the moment of truth. One, two. Alright 
guys. I have shorter hair. Okay, so I did the other side and we're, we're not gonna remove the rubber band. Let's do the back first. So the back will be kind of easy. We'll do the same thing. Screw this, right? Bye bye hair. I wonder what my husband will say when he comes home and finds me with no hair. He will say nothing because I am in charge of my hair. Alright guys, officially official, I have short hair. unbelievable all right so we're gonna trim the front a little bit just because the front of my hair looks atrocious I'm just gonna cut a little bit because you know what I don't want it to look kind of crazy so I'm just cutting this part In this part, I'm just trimming the front just slightly just to make sure that that hair is also nicely trimmed and has a little bit more of dimension um, and flows well once I dry it. You guys, my hair is officially gone. Like look at this stuff, it looks terrible. I needed this haircut so badly. So now what I'm going to do is give it a little wash and I'll trim it a little bit more after it's wet because I just feel like my hair just does better when it's trimmed when wet. So I'll do that and then I'll be ready for tomorrow. Alright guys, so we're back. I washed my hair and now I'm ready to tone it. I was initially going to just trim a little bit more but I think I'm just going to leave it rough and straight like this. Um, to see if I like this look and then later on I'll decide if I want to change it or not. So Let's go with toner. So here. I'm using two different bowls So one is for uh, my darker parts of my hair and another one is for the lighter parts that way I don't get confused and This application is going to take less than five minutes. It's just basically applying the toner and brushing it um, over and I'm all out of developers so I am using all the Agora Vibrance uh, toners and I'll list every single one that I use but I'm gonna use this Wella 6 volume or 6% 20 volume um, with the toners because I'm out of the uh, toning gel which is usually 6 volume so this one is 20 volume um, so I'll use this it's still all right like I, I always use um, just regular developer 20 or lower um, I just find that when I use 20 it does cover a little bit more so um, if you don't want it to lift your hair at all then I suggest going with six volume um, or, or just a regular gel developer um, yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'll list everything And when toning, I start from the bottom and I don't do small sections and I don't use a tiny brush to comb through um, uh, once it's toned, like obviously now I'm detangling my hair. But after I start toning, like it's important for me not to pass this because then it's going to run a lot of the product down. It's going to make it just look a mess. For the toner application, I'm using this size comb. And basically I'm just gonna apply through and then the bottom and then I'll just comb it through and let's get started all right so I mixed up my root uh, toner shade and it's like this nice thick consistency it's not watery at all and this is what I like to work with because when it's watery I feel like I make 
a lot more mess um, and it's tougher to apply. So this cream application is my favorite. And I'm going to start with just applying it on my root. All over the root. And going about two inches down with this color. Now, obviously I can't see the back of my hair, but I've done this enough that I can just feel it out. <laughs> Trust me, it's a thing. I can feel it out. And feel where I'm missing. And I like that this is gonna give me a very subtle lift in my um, natural color. So it'll just blend a lot nicer. Um, and that's what I want. I feel like the blonde was getting kind of, um, it was too much contrast for me. And that just doesn't look good. And I have curly hair, so I feel like you have to watch it with the contrast when you have curly hair because it doesn't look the same when it's straight than when it's curly. So I find that this is best for me. Okay. And very, very, very important is having some sort of towel or something for you to wipe your hands because you do not want to run your fingers through any other part of your hair, especially the part that is lighter, um, if you want to keep it lighter. So what I'm doing first is going through all of the roots. So just for visibility purposes, I'm going to do this side first. And I'm combing with a small comb just to make sure I don't have any tangles. And in my application, I'm making sure to evenly distribute the root toner all over and make sure it's fully coating my hair so that everything can just blend smoothly. Alright, so we'll finish application over here. And let's go to the back. What is going on behind my head? You ask? All right, so for the remainder of my hair, I just follow the same technique. Um, I just try to feel out what I can and uh, apply the product and then use the big comb just to gently comb through and blend a little bit of the product, but not too much. So as you notice, I'm not over combing, just applying the product mostly on the root. Um, I'm mostly careful not to just run the product too low because I want the lighter parts of my hair to stay lighter um, and then if I run it too low then it's just gonna look overgrown and not nice so um, this is just I mean, just continue to just apply this root shadow um, if you have more hair than me I highly recommend that you take small portions don't rush um, this process I mean if you have a dark root like I do it's not like it's gonna you know work uh, and lighten your hair or anything. It's just a very subtle lift. So um, I would say this part of the application is the one that takes the longest because I'm trying to be thorough. So it takes about a good five to 10 minutes depending on how, mi how much hair you have just to apply this on yourself. toner on the root and now we're going with our all over toner and basically just put it all over your hair this is what I do Fall off. 
Okay, so for this part of your hair, you definitely want to work quickly. Um, the product is going to start working on the bleached parts of your hair, so you want it to just distribute evenly throughout your hair. So this part, which is the lighter toner, just go, you know, apply it all over. Go to town. <laughs> um, don't delay and just make sure that it's as even as possible and then you can comb through. And this is the crucial part. You need to comb out your hair because that's how it blends. For this part, you want to make sure that you're combing out um, all the sections. Just be gentle with your hair. Um, I am trying to be as gentle as possible because my hair is prone to be just very uh, knotted and tangles really fast. So um, just to avoid any sort of fallout, be gentle with your hair. Um, in advance, I did leave a little bit of conditioner just so that it can be smoother for me to run this comb. Um, so don't be afraid to apply that. It's not gonna do anything to the toner. Um, it'll still work but it's just very important to comb out your hair so that once you uh, straighten it or even once it, the product works, um, you just have a nice uh, blended application and you don't have contrast like I had before. And then in this part, I'm just applying any extra root um, toner on the top and just blending out a little bit, just making sure that all my edges are toned with this root shadow color. And now that the toner application is put on, um, we're just gonna let this sit for about 10, 15, actually, I'm gonna let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes because I want it to get the color really good. Um, and then I'll wash off and blow dry. So, pray for me. Just pray for me because hopefully this comes out how I envision in my head. If it doesn't, We'll deal with it then, but be right back. All right, guys, so I've been processing for 15 minutes and I'm gonna go wash off this hair. I checked in on it and it's looking pretty dark. Very, very dark, which is what I wanted, but let's see if we still have some dimension in there. I'll be right back. I love this hair color so much. This is not too dark. I feel like it's still dimensional. It's still dark here, but blended well. And the haircut is beautiful, like a dream. I feel like if you have long hair and do not want to go to the salon or just want to do something at home, um, you can definitely try that rubber band uh, method. It's by Brad Mondo. So I'll tag the video where I saw him uh, post it first. But, oh wow, like this is, this is unbelievable. And the hair color also makes my hair feel and look healthier. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh. it makes my hair feel and look healthier. So I am obsessed with this um, haircut and hair color. I'm excited for fall and I feel like my hair is gonna finally stop falling out because I've been having so much fallout um, in the past weeks especially so i am looking forward to rocking my new hair thank you for watching my video if you found this helpful then please drop a like and give a comment below um i hope that i gave you a valuable resource here i mean this is a little transformation that you can do yourself at home and this is very user friendly like this is not permanent dye it really does look uh, very nice so I hope that you give it a try. If you do, please drop it in the comments. I would like to know about it. If you haven't already done so, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more hair-related videos as well as updates on my new house. So thank you. Thanks for watching. All right, I am going to be including all of the details in the description box with links to where to get these toners, but if you want a screenshot, um, these are the ones that I used and this is the specific developer that I used as well. Hope you liked my video. I am a 
obsessed with this hair color and this haircut too. I feel like it's my favorite color. It's not too dark.